What's up guys, Ashwin here with another video on how to create a login register page for your Android device using Firebase on Kotlin. So um, in our Android studio, I have already created uh, three activities. One is our main activity which represents the login screen, another is the register activity and another thing is going to be our uh, timeline activity. So as soon as the user is going to log into our application, it uh, displays a welcome message right over here in the text in this text view and it also has a menu uh, to sign out of our current instance so first we're going to integrate a uh, firebase into our project this can be done by uh, heading over to the tools menu and clicking on the firebase option right over there uh, make sure you have signed in to your google account so uh, on your android studio then uh, since we need authentication uh, using email and password i'm going to go under authentication and click connect to firebase so as soon as i'm going to click connect to firebase it's going to uh, connect my application uh, to the firebase uh, to my particular google accounts uh, firebase console so at this moment i'm going to create something like login a uh, new firebase project login and uh, set my country to india then connect to my firebase console so now our project project is going to sync with the firebase console and will be locally available uh, as a module uh, for our uh, development purpose so uh, you can also refer to the syntaxes which are available right over uh, here in the assistant panel uh, all these things or written in Java, which, are, which also carries the same function for the Kotlin, and it's much more simpler in Kotlin than uh, typing all these uh, functions in Java because it has mess, much more re reduced lines of codes and uh, also it's super damn easy. So now our project is created and locally available uh, as a module in our app. So we're going to add the Firebase authentication to our app. So nothing, it does nothing but adds a class path and uh, so it's kind of like adds a dependency to a project module uh, uh, from the firebase com uh, com.google.firebase.firebase auth 11.0.4 uh, indicates that we're going to add uh, the firebase authentication module which is of version 11.0.4 into our uh, gradle file for building our android application uh, using an integrated firebase project so i'm going to accept the changes and i'm going to wait until our uh, Gradle is going to be uh, completely built and synced with this project. So now our uh, Firebase has been integrated into our uh, application. Now I'm going to need a value called as m auth is going to get the instance of my firebase authentication for my uh, firebase console so i want to declare it as firebase auth dot get instance now i need to get the value of my widget login button by by declaring a value login button uh, which is whose view is going to be founded out using its id login button and i'm going to declare it as a button so i'm going to set an on click listener attribute to my login button and the point of view along with an on click listener so now my view is going to be pointed over to uh, the user defined login uh, function which i'm going to declare outside the uh, main activity uh, outside the on create function function login inside my login function I'm going to declare a value which is going to point to my email text widget in my main activity find me by ID I'm going to find that view resource dot identification dot email text as an editable text the same thing I'm going to do for my password so I'm just going to copy that thing 
and uh, paste it down here change this thing to password text and change my ID to password text so as soon as I've declared a uh, two widgets into my login function I'm gonna extract the values from those widgets so I need a variable called as email uh, which is going to extract my text values um, from my widget and I'm gonna convert it to a string value so the same way I'm gonna extract my password value from my uh, widget and I'm gonna convert it to a string now I'm gonna check if the user has entered an email and a password so not equal to email dot is empty is going to check whether uh, my email variable is empty or not if my email variable or my password variable is entry empty I'm gonna uh, proceed to an else part asking the user to fill up the fields before uh, trying to authenticate so my else part is going to be of a toast dot make text uh, just point to this is going to point to this activity and this activity please fill up the credentials a sad emoticon and then I'm going to set up the duration to toast.length long then I'm going to show this toast value so in the if part if my user is going to enter an email and a password I must authenticate them for that thing I'm going to call my mauth instance of my firebase auth dot creates and uh, sorry not create uh, yeah I'm gonna gonna check my user with uh, sign in with credit sign in with email and password and I'm gonna pass in this email and password as a parameter to that function uh, I'm gonna set an on complete listener and the view to that I'm gonna add oh wait a second I'm gonna add so inside my on complete uh, listener I'm gonna pass in the attribute this uh, I mean the context of this activity and then on complete listener uh, it's, I'm gonna pass a task into it what task is going to perform is if my current task is successful then I need to log in my user and move that activity to the next activity that is our timeline activity so I'm gonna start another activity use an intent for it it's an intent to create another activity uh, pass in the context of the current activity in the format of this then my next activity is going to be named as timeline timeline then I'm gonna pass this activity in the form of a class format class.java so so if my uh, authentication has been successful using my email and password uh, then my user will, will be able to navigate to the next activity and then I'm also gonna test set a toast to give a message to the user that he has successfully logged in uh, emoticon. Here we go. then the duration of the toast make sure the toast if my login so guys if my uh, user is going to give a wrong credential or if any failure occurs then I'm going to need a toast value to display the tree display an error message to the user and the sad emoticon right over there then I'm gonna set the toast duration then I'm gonna display the toast right over there so uh, next I need another value called as register text I'm gonna take that value from my view or not resource resource dot identification dot register text as text view 
then oh, wait a second text view then I'm gonna attach an on click listener attribute to my text view just like that I'm gonna declare a function called as register so so let's define this register function right over here private function it's just uh, so as soon as my uh, user clicks that uh, text view it should prompt him to a register activity so I'm gonna start an activity using an intent um, my current activity this comma my next register activity uh, which points to a class dot java so when my user cl clicks the law uh, register text view uh, it's going to call this register function which in turn going to start a new activity using a intent and it's going to bring my uh, register user from the main activity to the rest register activity so uh, now in our register activity we're going to declare a another value called as m authentication which is going to point to our firebase or and it's going to get an instance of our authentication so in this this thing i'm going to need uh, a value called as register button uh, i'm going to find that view by using find find view by and then i'm going to set its id value to register button so that this is a widget as ask button so as soon as my user is going to click this register button i'm going to set an on click listener to it um, now my view is, point, is going to point to the on click listener value view is going to point to a register function for this activity i'm going to create another function called as private function this register so let's uh, declare our email text value, email text widget. Find me by view or ID dot email text as edit text. The same thing goes for password text and name text. Just for text password text and then name text here we go with name text so now before creating a creating a new account um, I'm gonna check whether the three whether these fields are wait a second whether these fields are being filled with some values before that I'm gonna declare an e variable email and extract uh, my text from the widget to, to string so the same thing goes for the password and for the name So before I'm going to create a new account, I need to check whether my name is empty or not and also whether my password field is empty or not and my email field is empty or not. If these three fields are occupied by some values, then I need to create a new account else I'm going to display a toast value set a context of this current activity display a message it 
things into the credentials so I'm gonna click on then I'm gonna set toast dot let long I want to show this toast value so if I'm gonna if my user has enter the value of name password and uh, email then I'm gonna create a new account by calling the instance of my auth variable and then I'm gonna call a function called as create user with email and password and pass on this uh, email and password as its parameter then I'm gonna set add on complete listener my current activity instance so uh, then on complete listener I'm gonna set a task right over there so if my task is successful then I should do some job else else if I'm not successfully going if, if this instance is not going to successfully create an account then I'm, I need to display an error message right over there my task is has been completed successfully then I need to set this name value uh, into my database so that I can call whenever the user enters uh, into the timeline activity I can take uh, set a display with the welcome and his name so in order to do so like that I need to set this name value to into my database uh, to store some value into your database uh, again you know you have to go into the uh, Firebase Assistant panel and then go inside the real-time database and then try to add the dependencies of your real-time database. So uh, I'm going to skip this part right now uh, until it gets done.